So the traditional automakers are embracing uh, the evolution of, of the car and the, the digital transformation and all the elements we covered in, in, so far. And that is uh, the way to go. Uh, obviously, uh, the traditional automakers have uh, a huge uh, uh, portfolio of customers and they are coming with uh, a, a strong uh, uh, position in terms of loyalty to the brands uh, and performance. Uh, but the, the way to go is, is investing, embracing the uh, evolution and uh, uh, they're working a lot uh, with us. We, we work uh, in Europe, uh, but globally, we work with the OEMs, we work with the tier ones, but what, what we notice is that more and more uh, the automakers, the OEMs are working directly with us because they want to make sure that the innovation in the hardware and software platform is uh, capturing and collecting all the requirements and features set that they are planning. So uh, in a way, shortening the link to the technology provider is, is a sign of investing in, in innovation, participating with us in uh, uh, designing roadmap uh, for the hardware, uh, feature sets, product stack, uh, integration on the software. So it, it is, it's, a positive, uh, it's a very positive sign. We welcome uh, have a, a strong presence in Europe and we work with the, all the major uh, brands and uh, automakers. And uh, we, we are uh, very uh, pleased to see the positive and uh, in a way innovative DNA by all the major brands in uh, working for uh, evolving uh, digital chassis, skateboard, uh, hardware, software, feature set, car to cloud. And, and that, that, will, uh, that will pay back. That will pay back. From my perspective, is the way to go. Yeah, I, th I think I'd agree with all of that, that entirely. I mean, there is a, there's a sort of, as, as we sort of said earlier, there is this fundamental transition um, and it's in, when you go to electric, and it's not that you make the same car, but you've got a gas battery instead of a gas tank, it's you rip the spine out of the car. And so if you're not a completely new company starting from a blank piece of canvas, then you have all sorts of questions around how you migrate your portfolio, how you migrate your manufacturing processes, your production lines, your platforms and your existing designs, how you produce both the ICE engine vehicles and the electric vehicles in parallel on how do you manage your production lines. Um, and I think people from outside sort of sometimes see that, 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 that some of the, that they don't necessarily move as quickly um, as a completely new company and think, oh, they don't get it. They, under, they don't understand, they'll never do it. And not quite realize what you're seeing. What you're seeing here is massive scale manufacturing industries um, transitioning to a new technology. Um, now there are, you know, um, a lot of challenges in doing that, but I think an awful lot of the core competencies are, are, are common. Um, you know, it's just a different manufacturing process. Um, and so what you see is huge investment in electric, very obviously at every kind of part of the stack, but also huge investment in autonomy um, and huge investment in what the software platform would look like on top of all of that.